this video, we're going to talk about how to grade those assignments that students have submitted to you on Canvas using the speed grader. So we're going to go back and look at our week eight types of games assignment that we just created a little while ago. And we're going to go ahead and click on the assignment within Canvas. So I'm just going to click that assignment. We're going to give it a minute to load. And over on the side where it says related items, I see the option that says speed grader. It gives me the ability to download submissions. And it tells me that zero out of two submissions have been graded. So that tells me that two students have submitted this work and that I haven't graded any of them right now. So I need to click on the speed grader to open up the speed grader option. And just keep in mind, these are our pretend students. So we'll start with Daenerys here. This is actually my own work that I submitted, so it's a little bit copied. It's like a lot copied because it's my work that I copied. It's awkward. Anyways, so here's our work. She has a turn it in kind of a percentage up here on, this, on her page so we can see how much it's been plagiarized. We have the tools within Canvas that allow us to edit this document so we can highlight, we can leave little notes. We can scroll through the work. You can strike through. You can change colors. You can circle things. You can leave little markers. You can do all sorts of little markups on this paper as you go through. You can also leave a comment at the end if you need to, to kind of this. right within the paper so you can kind of leave that feedback for your students within the paper. Over here on the side, we didn't set this up with a rubric, so instead we're just going to grade it out of a number. So I might just give this a number grade, so I'm going to say it's an 18. If I want to add comments for my students, I can type them in here. I need to make sure to click submit, otherwise my comments won't be saved. You can also add, add a file attachment, so if you have something you want to send back to your students, you want to record a little video or um, do some speech recognition, you can do that um, as a different way to give feedback. The students don't always know where to find this feedback, so just kind of keep that in mind, but you can give them feedback here. And then to move on to my next student, I'm going to click this drop down menu and it lists all my students. The ones that have submitted work but are not graded usually have a little orange dot next to them. If they have been graded, they have been graded, they'll have a green check mark. And if they've not submitted yet, they won't have any, any icons next to them at all. So I can go to my next student. This student has 0% that's um, plagiarized. Again, we can do the same editing. Within the document to kind of mark it up for students so they can see what you want to tell them. I can give them a grade and give comments here. Again, making sure that I click on submit. So this is how easy it is to grade student work within the speed grader in Canvas. At the top, it tells me how many students have been graded, so two out of five, because they only had two that submitted. It gives me a class average. Um, tells me how many um, 
which student I'm on student four out of five students because it's counting my test student. The gear will give me some options if I want to want to. Um, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to stop there. Once I'm done grading, I just click this window right here. I just click out of the browser window and it will bring me back to the Canvas site. And I can look at the grades to see how well my students did in the grade book. This is the types of games assignment. And it's right here. And I believe these little flags are telling me about the turn it in. Um, how much they're flagged. So that's um, grading in Canvas, just straight up grading without a rubric.